What's up, guys? Early Sunday morning. Well, not that early. It's about 10 o'clock. I'm stoked. I'm finally on vacation. A long, needed vacation. I was upset last night working on the Horton. She's ready to go. Just have to balance it. Other than that, she's ready to go. There's the battery, receivers mounted, the ESC, speed control. And all I have to do, I bound it. And all I have to do now is just balance it. But I'm real stoked. I'm gonna hey, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys this, okay? I'm gonna hush and show you this. Got it hooked up to my trusty 9X. EV38 Horton. <laughs> uh, I said before this had memory for seven planes. Turns out it's eight planes. Now, I'm going to power this baby up. I, got it. I, pro I spent last night programming it. You'll love what I did. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> that's confirmation that she's ready. Let me show you what I did. We got the throttle. I even got the Elevon programmed in. <laughs> like I said, I was going crazy. We got the elevators in. Elevon. Mixed together. Elevon. It's not, it wasn't hard programming that. I just I had to go through my manual. Didn't tell me much through the manual, but some guys on YouTube helped out. But it was real easy. And you know, that's the one thing about this radio. It's so easy that it's hard. But you just watch a few videos on YouTube and you'll be all right. Because I'm doing just fine with it. And I love this radio. Like I said, she's all programmed. But some of you guys who have experience where you say, hey, Pat. That's a lot of throw in those uh, control surfaces. And you know you're right. It is a lot of throw. So I took the time to also program in dual rates. Let's see. Here's the elevator dual rates. That's high. Here's low. <laughs> I think that's all we're going to need when we're flying this baby. Then we got the ailerons. High and low. I took 50% out. And that's probably all she's going to need to be able to fly. Without any problems. So, like I said, I went crazy programming this baby. <laughs> even, got the rudder, even got the rudder programmed in there too. Or the, the steerable nose gear, I should say. I still would have liked to put rudder cut rudders in here. But, uh, like I said, she's ready to go. Just have to balance it. I'm going to balance it tonight. Because I'm chilling. Tomorrow I'm going to be grilling me some burgers and brats and getting things cleaned up. But right now I'm just chilling. But she <laughs> is ready to go. I love all that programming I did. It's so easy. I stopped by the field last week and was talking to the guys. And we were talking about the way we hold the radios and so forth. I My way of holding the radio is with this uh, strap, neck strap here. I, I use a neck strap because I only hold a radio with one hand. Like I said before, I flew full scale in my early days and I'm used to a control stick. So I got my control stick extended with a piece of neoprene hose so I get the feel of a full scale plane. I got this on all my, I can't fly the thumbs. I've tried, I do okay for a little bit, but it don't last. So, <laughs> but yeah, this baby is almost ready. He's about 95% ready. Once I balance it out, we'll be good. So, then I'm going to jump on the Hellcat. When I get that, I got already got everything hooked up in that. Got the radio bound. Once I get that programmed, and balance her out, she'll be ready. Cause uh, like I said, I got I counted it with the with the weekends, ten days away from my crazy job, and I'm gonna enjoy every moment of it. 
But that's it for now, guys. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Just wanted to let you know where I was. All right, you take it easy. And uh, right now it's raining outside. So I'm not going to, I'm, I'm just going to chill. Run out with some guys today and eat. But uh, other than that, I'm going to chill. Have a good one. Later. Good flying to you.